Tom Dow at BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Joe, well, you know, you guys were down 16 early in the second quarter. What did you feel was important over the second and third quarters, just as you guys kind of chipped away from uh, that early deficit? Um, I mean, a lot of it was on the defensive end. We just started to clean things up, you know, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more assertive, but also we're taking better care of the ball. It's pretty hard to defend when, um, you know, we turn it over and teams get out in transition. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Joe, did you guys defend how you were, or did you guys change, excuse me, how you were defending Sabonis throughout the course of the game? Look like he got it going early, and then you guys might have slowed him down over the course of the game. Yeah, in the beginning, we were uh, switching on to him, and then, you know, it's all predicated just on the lineup that we have. But even there in the second half with DJ, we started just switching a little bit more frequently on to him instead of um, having DJ play in the drop. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Joe, you mentioned the turnovers. Just how much of that was was it what they were doing defensively versus, you know, carelessness on your guys' end? Uh, probably a mix of both. I mean, they're a really good defensive team, uh, long, athletic, pretty good at playing the passing lanes. Um, and then, you know, probably a little bit on our end, though, too, just being a little bit too uh, careless with not the, you know, right focus to start the game. Matt Brooks, Nets Daily. Hey, Joe, uh, what do you think of Claxton's minutes tonight, especially defensively? What what he, what he can he uh, add for you guys just on that side of the ball? Uh, Claxton's been great for us. Um, you know, since he's been healthy, you know, he's added uh, a lot, especially coming off the bench, that second unit. You know, we were able to switch one through five with him, and uh, he's done a really good job. I think he's starting to even find more of a rhythm defensively in terms of protecting the paint. Ajayi Brown, Netswire. Uh, hey, Joe. So with the team's win tonight and a sexless loss also tonight, uh, you guys are tied for the first seed. Um, is this giving you more motivation to keep, you know, going hard and keep winning with the team? Or is this sort of like more pressure now that you guys are tied at, you know, the first seed? Um, to be honest, I don't think we really think about that too much. I mean, we're really just, um, you know, pretty simply just trying to come out and win every single night, you know regardless of, uh, of all the, you know, external things. Last question, Chris Mulholland, Nets Daily. Hey, Joe, real quick. Uh, obviously, Bruce's shot wasn't falling today, but his impact was kind of everywhere all over the game. So what kind of stands out to you from Bruce in this game? Um, just being, you know, he does all the little stuff for us. Um, and, you know, tonight was no different. You know, the 50-50 balls, being in the right spot defensively. Um, you know, asserting himself being aggressive, especially on that end. You know, he just does a little bit of everything almost every game. And even like now, tonight where his shot wasn't necessarily falling, he still has a huge impact on the game. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Joe.